what up everybody it's Jeannie welcome back to the channel we're just gonna tap into this energy we're gonna be doing a masculine love rating um, you already know what it is for Virgos you already know what it is so let's just get into it Virgo let's tap into this energy the song I got for y'all the masculines um, <laughs> was eggplants what was it It was eggplant or something. Eggplant something. I don't know. Um, but it was it was it was wild. Okay, it was a wild song. So I do feel like y'all may be um, a little more sexual, um, or the energy on your side may be a little more sexual. Let's see what this energy is for masculine Virgos in their dating life. Masculine Virgos in dating life. We have ripple effect and roots DNA inheritance ancestral karma okay here we go so you could be feeling this there's a couple energies i'm getting from this card you could be feeling like your dating life is affected by your ancestral karma things that have been ha passed down to you things that you have inherited um you could be feeling like there's things from childhood that has influenced your dating life at this time or um karma in some way could be influencing this at this time there's also the energy of uh, somebody could have gotten someone pregnant or you're looking for someone who you can have roots with um someone you can have children with someone you can be prosperous with all right so take that as it resonates virgo masculine so let's get the overall energy virgo masculine overall energy for dating We got the unicorn, okay? Tin foil hat at the bottom. Unicorn energy. I actually don't know which one that is. So I have to look. Unicorn says, You are a rare and unique creature. Be wary of vampiric people who will try to capture you and drain you of all your magic and mystery. Or even worse, watch out for those who will try to make you forget who you are. Stop being so nice to creeps. If you have been feeling lonely in this life, take heart and stay strong. Take heart and stay strong, okay? It will be worth it, okay? So I feel like, yeah, you may be having a little difficulties finding a relationship because you may be feeling your worth, okay? Masculine, Virgos, I'm getting that you are really feeling your worth. You're really feeling unique and you feel like these people want to suck and drain your resources in some type of way or try to make you feel like you're not who you say you are and you know exactly who you say you are. And these bitches got you twisted is what I'm getting. Somebody, okay. <laughs> somebody is looking at the dating world and their options and they're looking at they're trying to find somebody who they can create a family with um, a reflection of them here and with the unicorn i feel like Virgo masculines is not gonna just pick anybody right i feel like you've been there done that and i feel like you want yeah victory you want success here what's this energy for masculine virgos in love Okay, so here we go. We have work, achievement, and success. We have box. You will be receiving a gift and good fortune, and you will be playing a different role here. Okay, so first off, I'm getting the... <laughs> I'm getting, I'm not going to lie, sugar... What is sugar mama energy? Okay, um, work achievement and success. I feel like you're very focused on your work right now, masculine Virgos. But I do feel like somebody is going to give to you. Um, this is going to come out of the blue. I feel like you're used to the one who puts in all the work to achieve some type of success, but you may be finding someone who gives you a gift or gives you something or um receiving something that you feel is a gift because of all the good fortune that comes along with this person take it as it resonates here but with the you will be playing a different role i feel like you'll be playing a different role in the relationships or dating um than you have been before because you are knowing your worth okay knowing what you want all right and really looking soul searching 
to find somebody who really fits that to find that lover and if you can't have it i feel like you'd rather be alone here but with the page of wands i do feel like you are getting some type of communication nine of wands though mm. um tell me about <clears throat> tell me about virgo males and dating here virgo male and dating life Okay, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. I just heard, oops, I did it again. Okay, so you can, um, the Moon card, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Eight of Swords. It, damn. You could be running into the same type of people. Yeah, oops, I did it again. With the Moon card, you could be like, it could be sh sh something could be shown about these people that change it and with the eight of swords puts you back in your head you may be releasing people chariot and just moving away two of coins and the ten of wands and the empress the nine of cups the star card the high priestess the ace of swords yeah you're looking for your empress you're looking where is she <laughs> all i'm getting is clown bitches right all i'm getting <laughs> all i'm getting Okay, with the Queen of Wands in the reverse, you could be getting a lot of attractive women here, but there's something about them being um, just like too demanding, wanting stuff from you, wanting to drain you in some type of way, wanting to take advantage of you, um, or just outright being a hoe here with the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Take it as it resonates. Tell me about this information for Virgo Masculines. The sun card yeah you see these hoes for who they clearly are okay you you have the wisdom you've gathered enough spiritual wisdom and guidance to see these hoes clearly right with the sun cards to see these hoes clearly um yeah man and they remind you of people in your past here uh-huh uh-huh seven of coins and you know that's just not gonna work out and the justice card i do feel like you've seen you're seeing people and seeing their true colors you're like really looking into um people how they present themselves how they talk how they articulate the 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 seeds that they have sown their investments what they have done in the past like i feel like this is somebody here who the justice card is really trying to get it right this time okay balance out the past energy that didn't work in the past I do feel like these were the type of women that you may have invested on in the past, but with the Justice card, you may have received karma for that. Two of Cups and the King of Cups and the Seven of Wands, yeah. This may not make you not want to hop right into relationships, be guarded into getting into relationships, especially long-term commitments. Tower, the Two of Swords, and the Temperance. Yeah, it, it could be shocking that you are playing a different role and wanting to hold back, wanting to not do what you usually did. Five of Wands and the Eight of Coins. Yeah, I feel like you have mastered some type of competition or there's some type of conflict or... I think it feels like competition that you were having with yourself. I feel like you've mastered that. You've mastered fake bitches. Yeah, you have mastered whole bitches. Okay, so let's stop right here. Let's stop right here and give a round of applause to all the masculine Virgos who out there that has mastered whole bitches. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, con congratulations. I said that wholeheartedly, okay? Good for you. All right, good for you, Queen of Coins and the page of swords i do feel like you're you could have your eye on a virgo towards capricorn energy another virgo towards capricorn you could have your eye on um another earth sign here the six of coins the king of swords and the four of swords I do feel like you want to give here, but with the King of Swords and the Four of Swords, I do feel like you're holding back with your emotional side. 
like this is somebody here like masculines you could be still um in your feelings or something here with the eight of because if you're showing up with the king of swords energy this is you trying to um be very disciplined about your decisions here who you give to but with the king of swords and the four of swords this is somebody who's like trying to um show and hold their power while still being a little depressed here four of swords like you could be not in the best emotional space here ace of wands but you want to fuck <laughs> the lovers in the reverse oh my gosh you know that's gonna lead to bullshit yeah death card in the reverse the star card so there's some masculine virgos out here that um are trying they, they have their eye on somebody um this could be the same person that you're not giving to anymore you're trying to stand in your power but you could be depressed and want to fuck with the the lovers here in the death card in the reverse you could return to someone that you have broken up to to like yeah i just heard get a nut okay <laughs> the high priestess and the hermit and the four of wands mm. okay so you could be returning to past lovers yeah but i do feel like this is all for fun here because with the star card i feel like fucking these old lovers are having a sexual contact with these old people um is healing you in some type of way or helping you in some type of way heal from some type of heartbreak here like you feel less sad when you get a nut off i don't know um but <laughs> but i'm getting the energy of of masculine virgos returning to past people because you know your worth you don't want to like create a whole new relationship um uh, with somebody have sex and then it turns into nothing so you may be returning your to your past for sexual energy but looking towards your future um with different people here because we have the not a wants like this is just for fun i fuck them and i leave with the eight of cups right after that temperance and the two of swords to balance out this blockage that i'm feeling wow i'm <laughs> virgos okay the six of wands and three of cups and the page of coins here you okay so i could be tapping into some virgos who return back to their ex's energies for for some fun okay because you know your worth all right um i feel like you know who you want but you have to play a different role because the dating world is different. Like you can't just, I don't know here. I hope I'm trying, I hope I'm explaining this good enough for a go. But I do feel like this is going to cast, yeah, some type of burden. You don't want to be doing this for long, okay? Um, I feel like with ripple effect and dna you could get somebody pregnant that's not what you want that's not what you want the emperor you don't want to be a daddy and that's not what you want tell me about who virgo masculines have their eye on in love tell me about who virgo men masculines have their eye on in love Somebody could have colored hair. <laughs> we have the eight of coins. Yeah. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Two of cups here. The three of wands. The empress. There that empress. There she go. Hang dragon. The three of coins. The hierophant. Mm -hmm. You could have just gotten out of a marriage. There's that past person though. <clears throat> I feel like that's past person energy. Tell me about the eight of coins and the person that Virgo males have their eye on. The king of cups came out across. So you don't know if you have feelings for this person or not. All right, you don't know how to feel about this person. 
the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Wands. I feel like this new person could, could come with some type of burden. Okay, responsibility or some type of stress. Five of Cups, the Devil, and the Three of Cups. Okay, this could just be you stressed out because you're dealing with people who disappointed you in toxic relationships here. Let's see, Ace of Cups and the Ten of Wands. The Nine of Wands. Uh, tell me y'all just don't want to fuck. Okay, I don't know who I picked up on today, but somebody's like very sexual, okay? Um, this is the energy of, you got your eye on somebody who, first of all, I feel like you're very passionate towards, that you want to put in work towards something that you want to master, right? Something that you hold to a high standard because it, they're not like other whole bitches right there's somebody here that you want to take your time with but that may come with a lot of burdens because you may be hungry i mean hungry <laughs> horny um hungry and horny shit and with the night <laughs> look i'm trying to get my rocks off and a meal and a sandwich okay um with the night of coins energy you could be feeling like you're horny but it's it's you have to put on this is somebody that you have to give a dedicated effort towards like this is not somebody that you can treat like a hoe like you may be used to whole bitches but now you want somebody different so that's the burdens it comes with the burdens it comes with period judgment yeah i feel like nine of coins i feel like Whoever this is that you have your eye on, you hold them at a high regard. You see this person as um, high status, um, single, independent, good, thriving on their own. Um, this person could be very attractive to you. You judge them very highly in some type of way here. And with the Justice card, the Five of Wands, and the Eight of Cups, it's only right that you walk away from all of your other past people here. Page of Wands, you got some type of you got some type of message from somebody that you want to like like this could lead to somewhere this could be somebody you could get married settle down to here tell me about the person virgo males have their eyes on the sun card and the six of swords yeah whoever this is is making you very happy it's very positive go lucky energy six of swords is like a breath of new new uh fresh oh my gosh fresh breath of new air i don't know what i was trying to say there breath of fresh air there it is um <laughs> this person is like a breath of fresh air here i feel like they um so with the six of swords are very different from the women that you have been giving your offer to in the past here yeah okay Three of Swords and the Star card. Wow. But the Six of Swords and the Three of Swords, this person is her, uh, helping heal some type of heartbreak that you've had. I do feel like there's going to be a different role where somebody is going to be healing you, even though you're holding back from um, some type of either sex or you're holding back depression, you're holding back your feelings here. There could be also some Virgos. who have a fear of being left out in the cold in the future. Like putting in all this work and then being left out in the cold. Yeah, Nine of Swords. The higher thing. The Ace of Swords and Queen of Swords. So I do feel like with the higher thing paired with the star card um you could be feeling like this is divinely guided um a good omen um relig religious factors could be getting in the way here you could be also feeling like this could be someone you could have a commitment with with the ace of swords and the queen of swords here because i feel like where's the king of swords isn't in here anymore but the king of swords came out for your energy and with the queen of swords i do feel like this is somebody who's matching your energy ace of swords and the queen of swords you found somebody that has matched your energy somebody who isn't clingy 
um, very independent, very smart, intellectual, somebody with good judgment and clear boundaries. This isn't somebody you can rush. Like, I feel like this is somebody you could take home to the moms, right? <laughs> and fuck them. Um, but this is what I got here for the Virgos. This, this is looking good for Virgo men, except you fucking your ex or somebody thinking about that or I don't know here, worried about women fucking their exes. I don't know. Uh, take that as it resonates. But let's get a closing message for Virgo men. Closing message for Virgo men in love. Closing message for... I just heard... I just smelled gasoline. Some of you could be like gassing up your car. Or just you work with cars or something about oil and gasoline. We have convenience. 444, listen soul cry uh spirit is us uh, your soul and your spirit is crying out to you to listen to it and just and don't just go towards convenient fast love flings here really listen to what your soul wants we have orange home moon phase and cultivate so i do feel like you need to uh focus on someone you can cultivate a home with and with the moon phase take things in phases i do feel like um it takes the moon a long time to phase right so i do feel like there will be phases of this that you have to work with to really cultivate a home with this person but um listen to your heart all right <laughs> and really really know that you have good fortune here okay in playing this different role in cultivating something that could be good for you so yeah this is what i got here for the masculine virgos so if you resonated with anything here please give me a like comment down below subscribe to your channel see what's coming up next for the virgos and y'all already know i'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching peace